Hello math learners! Do you know what this is? Or do you know how to use this? Perhaps you know what are the uses of this plane. If you don't, then finish this video and I will teach you the rectangular coordinate system. But before anything else, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool player math videos just like this. Hello math learners! Welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. This is still your free access math teacher Ash. And today, we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency-based lesson for quarter 1, week 5 of the grade 8 mathematics, which is all about the rectangular coordinate system. Question is, what is the rectangular coordinate system? Rectangular coordinate system is also known as the Cartesian coordinate system from the famous mathematician René Descartes. Now, this rectangular coordinate system consists of two lines that is the vertical and the horizontal. This is known as the y-axis and the x-axis. The intersection of these two lines in the middle, that is what we call the origin. Now, by the intersection of these two lines, known as the y-axis and the x-axis, they will form four different regions in the coordinate plane. And this is what we call the quadrants. Now, this is the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. Now, remember that the first quadrant will always start with the upper right region. And in naming the quadrants, you just follow the counterclockwise, meaning the opposite of clockwise. So, this is the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. Okay, now, let's talk about more about the rectangular coordinate system. Okay, math learners, we have here an example of the rectangular coordinate system or known as the Cartesian plane. As we can see here, this middle is what we call the origin. This horizontal line is known as the x-axis and the vertical line is known as the y-axis. As what I said earlier, these two, when they intersect, it forms four regions, right? The first region is known as the quadrant 1. The second region is the quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and the quadrant 4. Now, these two lines represent numbers, okay? Since this is the origin, this is also known as the zero, okay? The coordinate of this one is zero, zero. When we say coordinate, that is the position of that certain place, okay? So, if this is the number line, if this is zero, all the numbers at the right are the positive numbers. And all the numbers on the left are known as the negative numbers numbers. Now, we also have here another number line in which the middle is zero. All the numbers above are known as the positive numbers and all the numbers below are known as the negative numbers. Now, if you think of this one, this part is known as the positive x-axis while this one is the negative x-axis. We have here the positive y-axis and the negative y-axis. Okay, question is, how do we locate certain points? Okay, now, a certain point has a coordinate. This coordinate is known as the ordered pair. An ordered pair is consists of two numbers, x and y. Remember that this is ordered pair, meaning the position is very important. The first number refers to the x coordinate while the second number refers to the y coordinate. The x coordinate is known as the abscissa and the y coordinate is known as the ordinate. Okay, now let us try how to use this one. Okay, math learners, we have here examples of our ordered pairs. Now, we have four ordered pairs and what we will do is we will plot these ordered pairs to our Cartesian plane or rectangular coordinate system. The question is, how do we plot? Okay, so remember that 
Each ordered pair represents two numbers. The first number will represent as your x coordinate and your second number will represent as your y coordinate. In our Cartesian plane, we have here the positive x, the negative x, the negative y, and the positive y. So remember, always start first with your x coordinate, then go to your y coordinate. Okay, so we have here positive 1, 2. Now, our x is positive 1 and our y is positive 2. Okay, so that is positive 1. This is the positive 1 for x. And for the y, here is the positive 2. What you will do is you just try to collide the lines of these two coordinates. This is the line for the positive 1x, okay, or the positive x with the value of 1, and the positive 2 for the value of y. So 1 and 2, this is where they are located. And this is 1, 2. Is it right? Now let us go to the second coordinate that is negative 3, positive 2. Negative 3 for x, so this is x. Negative 3, this is negative 3. Then positive 2 for y. So, positive 2 for y here. Okay, so what you will do is you just try to collide those places. So, this is negative 3, this is positive 2, and you try to collide them. Okay, and the position where they collide, that will be the position of your coordinates. Okay, so this is negative 3, positive 2. Easy, right? Now, let's go to the third. We have negative 2, negative 5. Negative 2, this is negative 2 for x. And negative 5 for y, this is the position. So we have here negative 5. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So negative 2 for x, this is the 1. And negative 5. Okay, so this is where they will collide. Okay. So that is negative 2, negative 5. Always remember to write first the x coordinate then the y coordinate okay and now for the last we have 4 3 or 4 negative 3 so that is positive 4 for x so this is the one and negative 3 for y so here is the negative 3 so they will touch okay so here and this is the position for negative 3 sorry positive 4 negative 3 and these are the coordinates, or this is where the points is located based on our coordinates. Now, remember that the Cartesian plane or the rectangular coordinate system also applies in graphing certain functions like linear functions, quadratic functions, cubic functions, and polynomial functions. So, um, by just knowing the basis of how to plot points, in the long run, you will also learn how to graph a certain function but i will also teach you here in math learning with sir ash about that on our next videos so i hope you have learned a lot of things about our topic for today this is just an introduction about plotting and about how to use rectangular coordinate system this is still your free access math teacher ash and always remember it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning Thank you so much for subscribing and sharing this video to our fellow students. God bless, take care, and keep safe always. Congratulations, math learners, for arriving to this part of the video. If you think that this video have helped you, click that like button. And if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics, do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you.